Hello, Army of Light, Earth Division, the boots on the ground, doing such important work. It's Shauna L. Francis. Today is February 21st, 2023. We are channeling the late Queen Elizabeth. She is coming through here now. What is this, number 29? Uh, 29 times here we've worked with, with the Queen. She is disclosing what she knows from the other side of the veil about the negative reptilian regime who has been wreaking havoc on this planet and all of her people, all of her people, including those in the bloodlines that are controlled by them, wreaking havoc on this planet for thousands of years. They've been around forever, guys. Since humans were first on the planet, the negative reptilians were here doing their thing. All right, team. So. Obviously, there's a lot of history going on. Um, if this is the first time that you are watching my videos, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Please know that we have, uh, yeah, 28 or 29 additional videos that are focused solely on Queen Elizabeth and what she has to say. And before that, I've got all kinds of information that's come through through the Galactic Federation of Light as well as uh, Melchizedek and Kryon about the negative reptilian regime here on the planet. It's no accident that you're here. If you stumbled upon this, you're meant to be here. Even if this information just seems completely outrageous and horrifying, and it is, some of it is. Um, you know, we're, we're in the stage here in the phase of awareness. We're creating awareness team. So for all the light workers here who are helping to anchor this light to help bring these horrific truths to the surface finally, no longer can this stuff be percolating, brewing, boiling under the surface. We're bringing this information up to the light where it can be seen and could be known. We are building awareness for this information. And once we have the awareness, we now have choice. We have the ability to make our own choices here. Uh, we do not have to be the victim of the negative reptilian regime, their mind control tactics. There truly is choice here. And not only choice in regard to the reptilians, but also how we want to be on the planet, who and what we are. What are we putting out energetically? What are we putting out energetically? How are we contributing to either the light or the dark or somewhere in between for all of existence here? Remember team that we are all one. All of us are, are we're coming from the same stuff. We're all made of energy. We are all source having a temporary human experience here. This is the time of ascension. This is a big deal. There's a lot going on here. Many of you are feeling this in your personal lives and it's like, what the heck is happening? Many of you are feeling like you're getting hit by a Mack truck. And uh, we talk about this today with Queen Elizabeth. Um, so don't underestimate your ability to be a contributor here to the light, to anchoring this light, anchoring this truth, bringing this information forward. It's a team effort. We're doing this as a collective. And it's gonna take all of us working together to really dismantle what has been such a firmly rooted, such a firmly rooted institution here, the negative reptilians, working just under the surface here. Somehow though, team, they've been able to pull this off, but no longer. This is what I'm doing here, what you're doing, what other channelers like me, other light workers, light bringers, star seeds, members of the Galactic Federation of Light here coming down to Earth to help topple this regime finally, because we are ascending. We're going from this dense, low vibration, kind of fear-based existence, existence to a fifth dimensional, high vibration existence based on love, on unity. It, yeah, what's it gonna take to get there? We know we've got a ways to go, right? It's gonna take some time to get there. But every day, every moment, we make progress. And this part of what we're doing here is, is helping with this ascension and, and really letting you all know that it's going to be okay. You know, you'll get through whatever tough times you're in right now. Things will get better for all of us 
as we make this transition to 5D. Patience, trust, actively choosing who and what we are, the light we want to bring to the planet, what we're putting out energetically, being conscious of this guy's not allowing this to be subconscious, unconscious behaviors just based on history. This is what we've always done. Here's what people expect of me. Here's what I'm supposed to be doing or saying or believing. All that's just gone. All that's out the door. We're forging a new path here together, team. We're forging a new path here together. And it's wild. Like, hang on to your seats, guys. <laughs> Thanks, everybody who's here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We did talk about Harry today, finally. It took us three days to get to this, four, I think, you know, to get this information out. And it's really quite, quite beautiful and um, amazing. I can't wait to walk you through this. Um, okay. So she came in and I had said, team, if we're not ready yet, please just let me know. Um, if we want to talk about something else, that's great too. I'm going to just leave this open and please let me know if we're ready to begin. And here comes Queen Elizabeth right away. And I said, oh, hello, sweetness, how are you? She said, I'm doing okay, thank you. This has been such an incredible process for me, being more difficult than I had anticipated that it would be. I feel like I am making a bit of progress. So Shauna, I'd like to begin talking. I do plan to pick up where we left off yesterday and continue with that same line of thinking. Let's just see how it flows. All right, guys. So again, if you're new to my channel and this is one of the first videos you've ever seen of mine, the last few days I sat down and spent four, four and a half hours waiting for this information to come. And she really tried, but she was having a difficulty articulating how she wanted to lay this information out for us today. And she did a beautiful job. All right, so team, I'm gonna go back to yesterday's channeling and read to you what she said yesterday. Here's what she had to say about Harry. This is how she kicked this off. Shauna, <laughs> Harry was just a wee lad when he captured the heart of Britain and much further than Britain, but the entire world at large with his playfulness, his red hair, and his ruddy cheeks. People could tell that there was just something different about this royal. There was a spark there, a bit of mischievousness, and just a sweet, sweet demeanor. The whole world watched as Harry grappled with his mom's tragic death and the emotional fallout as he processed the absence of his beloved mother. It wasn't only the red hair and the sweet demeanor that set Harry apart from his brother and also others in the royal family. He also has staunch opinions on what is right and wrong, regardless of protocol, regardless of customs, expectations, or history. One may tell Harry what to do, how he should think, where his allegiances should lie, even define for him who and what he is. But Harry is a person who takes all that in stride and makes his own decisions based on many inputs, not the least of which is what his heart has to say. All right, and that's where she left me hanging yesterday. <laughs> okay. She said here, Prince William and Prince Harry are different on fundamental levels. Prince William being the stoic, dutiful heir to the throne, following protocols, taking his father's lead like a lifeline. Prince Harry, motivated by safety and control, largely stemming from his mother's death. Safety and control, okay. The royal family does not take well to those who would break from tradition, break from rules, both written and unspoken. Any type of serious questioning, confronting, asserting oneself, when in their mind, one should be just remaining quiet. And thanks to Harry, much of the world has been able to see firsthand and to know and understand 
this through the sharing of his experience. Yeah, she continues here. The unprecedented view into the rigidity and the choking constrictions on display for the world to see. Trapped, Harry has said. They are trapped. To some degree, he is trapped as well, but at least he's able to do this somewhat on his own terms. And while it may seem as though he is paying a dear, dear price for his openness, his tenacity, and his boldness, his actions are, in fact, the beginning of the end for this antiquated, crumbling structure. And I'm like, wow, I'm like, amazing. I, I said, please continue, Elizabeth should give it a bit of a pause there. Prince Harry, she said, is not without foibles, missteps, misjudgments, and other attributes that may not work in his favor all the time. <laughs> but this is a man who is creating a new path for himself based on his own and imperfect, fallible human consciousness. <laughs> How amazing is this, guys? You could see where this is leading. And again, I really tried not to have any expectations for where she was going to go with this information. But she's saying here that he is creating his own path for himself based on his consciousness. Prince Harry, contra contrary to how others may regard him or perceive of him, knows that some protocols are meant to be broken. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. All right. The fact of the matter is Shauna. Prince Harry represents a grassroots leaderless movement of which we are a part to help create the environment whereby this negative reptilian regime can eventually be dismantled. I love this. And even Harry, she said, who he knows himself to be now, how he carries himself and the actions that he takes is not fully aware of the role that he's taken on. He has not yet fully awakened to the multidimensional, multifaceted levels of which he is working on behalf today. Nor does he need to, she said. He's doing a beautiful job. Wow, I said, all right, beautiful. I said, please continue. You're doing great, Elizabeth. <laughs> We're making some really good progress today. All right, and she continues here. Shauna, the negative reptilian regime of whom I was a part, of whom you were a part, was not able to sink his cl its claws into Harry, as it has done with William, with Charles, all my children, and myself, and all others in these royal bloodlines. Let me say this again. The negative reptilian regime of whom I was a part, of whom you were a part, was not able to sink its claws into Harry as it had done with the rest of her family. For Harry had, working tirelessly on his behalf, his dearly departed mother, Diana, who helped assemble the largest cadre of angelic intervention that has not been seen in this level of existence since the time of Jesus. Oh my gosh. I just started bawling. I, I mean, hearing this come through, guys, Queen Elizabeth explaining that at 12 years old, when she was 12, she had the mass, she experienced the master's eye initiation, which is that, you know, at puberty, the negative reptilian regime for these specific bloodlines get their claws sunk into the royal bloodline people in order to control them through this hive mind mechanism. So this hive mind control. And this was not able to happen with Harry because once Diana passed, she worked tires, tirelessly to stop it from happening from the other side. She pulled in 
she ca called in the angels to intervene on his behalf so he didn't have to go through this master's eye the master's eye activation like she did like she's saying the rest of her families had to do she said here unfortunately at the time of diana's passing it was too late for this type of intervention for william i said wow elizabeth oh my goodness i said this this is, sounds like a miracle she said yes shauna and diana even today palpably present in harry's life and to some degree williams as she is able to be present for him and connect with his higher essence and no, Shauna, she said, that Diana is also doing similar petitions for her grandchildren. Wow, Diana, on the other side, working tirelessly for Harry to help stop this regime. Talk about, I mean, of course she is, right? Of course she is. And I had so many questions, but I just tried to remain as clear as possible. She said, Shauna, while his mother Diana was able to block the negative reptilian regime's master's eye initiation with Prince Harry just in the nick of time, Harry still had to grapple and contend with angry negative reptilian overlords who still wanted to control Harry through the hive mind mechanism. And if they were not able to control him, they would do what they could to ruin him. Okay. So many questions. Um, we, I'm hoping she gives us an opportunity to ask questions about this whole process. Um, but again, it would it had been such a struggle to get to this point where she could get this information out. I just let it be. She continued here. Prince Harry and Meghan have formed a bond in this lifetime. A bond in which their combined light and the children they create together will achieve the practically impossible feat of breaking the negative re reptilian regime's control through the royal bloodline. Wow. Shauna, it is nearly unprecedented if this is able to be done. And truly it signals the beginning of a new era for the entire planet with this being a possibility. I said, wow, um, I, this is amazing. I said, so exciting. She said here, Prince Harry, somewhat unbeknownst to him, is playing a significant role in the dismantling of the negative reptilian stronghold, a stronghold that would have seemed impenetrable just a few short decades ago. Yeah, think about that. When Harry hears or reads these words that I am speaking through you today, Shauna, she said, this will in fact unlock a deep knowing within him and all at once it will feel so incredibly crushing and tragic to him but also completely right completely freeing and exponentially empowering and from there she said he'll know who and what he is and the infinite power of love. <sighs> she took a big pause after this. She took her time. She said here, we'll wrap up today's session knowing that there's so much more information to come. She continued here, both Prince Harry and Prince William, she said, are equal in God's eyes. Each of them doing what they each know to be right. She said here, can you love each of them equally? Give them each the same respect, the same compassion, knowing that each are dealing with their own set of challenges in the best way that they know and that they can see possible. Oh team, we've talked about this so much. This is the level Shauna Elizabeth said, 
we need to be at in order to emancipate this negative reptilian energy. Absolute, unconditional love for all who are involved. The negative reptilian regime will be held to task. Their ministrations here are coming to an end. There, may, there are many casualties on all sides, she said, but yet extreme opportunities to rise out of this despair, rise out of the hatred, rise above the anger, to see the absolute truth of existence and to deeply know and understand the role that each of us has played in this incredibly diverse and rich tapestry of existence. And conversely, she said, can you love your fellow brothers and sisters who'd condemn either side, all sides? Knowing that in any given moment, each of us will deal with this information in the best way that we see fit, what feels right to each of us. Awareness, Shauna, she said, it's the first major step. And in some ways, it's the most challenging. Because once again, this information will rock people's foundational knowledge of who they believe themselves to be, who they believe others to be. There will be an integration, Shauna. And we all must be patient as that process unfolds naturally for humanity as a collective. And at that point, I just felt all the hair on my head like stand up on end and this bizarre energy kind of come over me at the end here. It's like, whoa, <laughs> um, it just felt, it felt really important. Um, it felt meaningful, um, yeah. And I said, Elizabeth, is there anything else today? She said, John, this is complete for me today. I'm like, okay. I said, Elizabeth, thank you. You did a wonderful job. Such important information, such important work. Thank you for pushing through, making it through um, to this point. Um, I love you and I respect you deeply. And she said, thank you, Shauna. Okay, team, so much to take in and ponder. Um, we're all doing our own part here. And again, we're all doing the best we can knowing what we know in any given moment. We've got to uh, leave space, um, sacred space for people who will be really struggling with this information and find it completely absurd and unbelievable. And again, any personal attacks that'll be coming over this way, just be open-hearted and understanding the bigger picture of what's going on here. All right, guys. I do expect to see you tomorrow. I love and appreciate each of you. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for everything you're doing to support me this journey. Thanks for being on this journey. We're all, we're all in this together. <laughs> we're doing this, guys. We're making this happen. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.